I don't want to rip this, but we're going to. Ready? Oh, it's more paper. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why did she do this? friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maylene Call from Miss Calls Campers. I am a first year first grade teacher in Middle Tennessee in case you're new here. If you are new here, I hope you consider clicking that red subscribe button down below. I post teacher vlogs, teacher tip videos, and fun collabs like this. So I have to say before I even get started, this teacher appreciation video is something I am so thankful to be a part of. I was watching all of these videos last year and just remember being so happy watching them and trying to figure out which teacher had who because of course I watched all of their channels and now that I get to be a part of it and experience it firsthand, it's something really, really special to me, especially going into my first year of teaching. So thank you so much, Kate, for bringing all of us together. She actually brought 10 YouTubers into the collab. We have Kate, of course, Kate, the sleepy teacher, um, Maura from Kind of Kindergarten, Vanessa from My Second Grade Life, Fernanda from That One Happy Classroom, Darren from EdTech by Darren, Colby Sharp, he's just Colby Sharp here on YouTube, um, Maggie from Too Cool from Riddle School, Latonya from Smarty Cell, Marie from The Caffeinated Classroom, and Shelly from Early Adventures. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop into this bad boy. I am so excited because there are five days worth of things in here for Teacher Appreciation Week. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stop talking and just hop right in. I can already tell this is probably a girl. I mean, from the handwriting and the fact that they typed out their address labels, I'm guessing it's a girl. So this is what I see. Oh my goodness, gorgeous. Okay, this is absolutely beautiful and I don't wanna touch any of it but we have to so let's do it so the first thing i see is a little card in here it says day one maylene i am so excited to spoil you this week i hope you enjoy opening all of your gifts you are doing an amazing job in your first year enjoy i don't want to start i want to kind of just savor this moment but we're gonna start we're gonna start okay bubble wrap guess who opened after day five gift so i guess this is the reveal i'll say that okay so this is the gift for day three bonus open at the way end it says <laughs> okay i'm excited to see what that's about this is day four very cute i love this tissue paper Ooh, i wonder what this is it says day three on it she did a really good job i'm assuming it's a she i think it's safe to say it's a she day five super cute oh that sounded heavy oh no this ripped a little bit i'll try not to peek and this says day two okay let's get these all lined up oh my goodness i do not want to touch them don't want to touch them okay i have all the gifts set up behind me to show you guys i'm so excited to come home from school tomorrow i get to open my gift for day two. Oh my goodness I want you guys watching to kind of start thinking about who you think it might be. I've already told you everybody that's in this collab. So let's see if you guys figure it out before me. I will be back on day two to open my first gift. All right, you guys, I am absolutely a mess today, but we made it to day two, and I'm so, so excited. Um, by the looks of it, I think day two was a book. I think it was supposed to be a book that we used in our classroom. I didn't follow that rule because my person already had my book, so let's see what the person who had me decided to get for me. I want to remind you guys again that I do teach first grade. I don't know what grade this person teaches. In fact, I think there's only one other first grade teacher in this collab, and that'd be Fernanda. Um, so I'm really not sure like what I'm going to get, but I'm very excited. It's beautiful. I don't want to undo the wrapping. Probably shouldn't block like the only light I have. Okay, it's day two. And the little note on it says, recently one of the first grade classes at our school gifted us this book as an act of kindness. I wanted to get you a copy because I thought the message was great, not only for our students, but for us YouTubers as well. It is about enjoying time outside and balancing our time on devices. That's so funny, because right before I turned on the camera, I was sitting on my patio because I felt like I needed to be outside. So what are the odds? I don't want to rip this, but we're going to. Ready? Oh, it's more paper. <laughs> anti-climatic okay Ooh, what is this oh my goodness i'm the worst at unwrapping but unplugged by steve anthony Oops. bye Ooh, this looks really good should we take a peek it says blip 
becomes, oh wait, no, that's his name, okay. Blit becomes unplugged when there is a blackout. Soon she discovers that the world can be brighter when you unplug. Ooh, I'm already very interested. Let's look at the back. Cute. I think the best part about getting a hardcover book is taking the jacket off. Do you guys wanna see what's underneath? Oh, it's the same thing. <laughs> Perfect. Um, I love to give these to my students if it's a duplicate. Um, my kids really love that. So one of my students is actually going to get to take that. I don't really keep them if they're the same as the underneath cover. Should we look at some of the pages? Blip toppled down a steep grassy hill, rolled through a forest of very tall trees, and drifted down a long winding river. <laughs> look at her face. My kids are going to love this book. It is gorgeous. Um, something I do with all of my books is I write to their from. So I'll say, donated to Mrs. Call's class by so-and-so. So I can't wait to write your name in this book. Thank you so, so much for thinking of me and my students. I have never heard of this book. So I'm glad that you said something that was new to me and could make my world a little bit better. Thank you. I'm trying to guess and see like if I can make a prediction on who this might be. And it's still way too early to tell, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, it is Wednesday. I am so excited. I have been looking forward to this moment all day long. So let's open day number three. Ooh, okay. I don't remember what day number three was supposed to be. Um, oh, I think this was something they used in their classroom, maybe? Yeah, that's what it was. Okay, so day number three, right? I think so. I know, we'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, gonna undo the beautiful present tree. Present tree? That's not a word. A hot glue gun always will come in handy. I know yours broke recently. Also, expos are a no-brainer. Oh my gosh, okay. This is like the most perfect gift for me because my hot glue gun did break hold on let me take this off so it's not loud for you my hot glue gun did break i have been borrowing another teacher's every time i needed it and it has been so frustrating so thank you so much for this seriously thank you so much because i keep forgetting to buy one so this is perfect and then these um are like my everything in the classroom. We are constantly having to throw them away because they dry out, but I really prefer that my kids write with the thinner markers. I am so thankful right now. You do not even know. So whoever you are, you are phenomenal. Thank you so, so much. You guys, I'm showing so much self-control right now, trying not to open the rest of these gifts. I told myself I was gonna do one a day. So I am, but whoever you are, you're doing an amazing job so far. If you have a guess as to who it might be, I want you to go ahead and drop that down below because I still haven't even narrowed it down. So <laughs> thank you so, so much. And I will open day number four just a second. It's day four, it's Thursday. And coming back into this room, I actually realized day three, they sent me two things. Day three, they sent me two things. Um, so I'm gonna open two things today, oops. So this one actually says day three on it, but I guess I was so excited yesterday that I didn't realize it. So I'm gonna open this one first. It smells really good. What are you? <laughs> I'm so excited. Today has been some kind of day. I just wanna say like not a fun one. So looking forward Ooh, to this. I'll let you guys see it first. I'm looking at the back right now. Just, oh, cute! My students love dot stampers. I saw these and really wanted them for my classroom, but I thought you should have them. They are even scented. Yes, I smell them. Oh my goodness, you know what's so funny? I teach first grade, and guess what? We haven't used dot stampers all year. My kids are gonna go crazy when I add this. It's gonna be the perfect thing to like mix up our centers for the end of the year. Oh my goodness, there are so many awesome things that we can do with this. It's the ice cream dreams do a dot art. Should we open one and see what it looks like? I bet they're super cute. And they are scented, I can totally smell them. Ooh, look at those colors. You know who this reminds me of? This color scheme gives me um, too cool for middle school vibes here. Does it not? It totally does. Ooh, this one's mint chip flavored. Oh wait, it probably says it on the back. Mint chip, very berry, cotton candy, bubble gum, chocolate, and peaches and cream. Oh my gosh, so fun. 
you know these make me so nostalgic and my kids are going to be so flipping ah, excited for these this is awesome thank you so much why haven't i used dot stampers dot what do you call them stampers <laughs> why haven't i used dot stampers all year it's something i'm totally into all right well here we go new adventures all right so now i'm actually going to open day number four i was nervous i was kind of procrastinating <laughs> turning on the camera today because i am so excited for what my person got me for day four but also i'm doing a sugar cleanse this week um if you've been following me on instagram you know all about the struggle and i'm making a video on that too this same week actually to let you guys kind of know how i'm doing but i am like my mouth is watering just thinking about what could be inside this package so <sighs> Let's do it. <laughs> Day four. And oh my goodness. Part of me wants to be like, save it for next week to open. But I'm gonna open it now and show some serious constraint, y'all. I have taken everything sweet out of my house. Maybe this will be like an apple. It has the word chocolate on it. <laughs> These chocolates are from a famous place in my hometown. This gives you a clue as to who I am. The Trinidads are my favorite. <laughs> I want to eat this so bad. The chocolates are from a famous place in my hometown. This gives you a clue. I love that she put a little clue in here. That was so incredibly thoughtful and just. Mm, making me wonder. Okay, I'm trying to think about where everybody I know is. I know where everybody is. All right, here's the chocolates. Can you see them? No, you can't see them. Oh, you know what, these are perfect. They're already like portioned out. We have sea salt caramel, Trinidad, mint melt away, and pixie. The pixie ones look so good. Okay, so if I was gonna eat one right now, I'd probably do the Trinidad because they said that was their favorite. It is a rich chocolate ganache center. Oh my God. Drenched in a pastel coating with toasted coconut. I love toasted coconut. Oh my gosh, all these flavors sound so good. I'm like shaking right now. I don't know if you could tell or not, but I wanna eat these so bad. I want them so bad. Okay, let's see where they're from. See if we can make a guess. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think I know who it is. That's so funny, because if that's true, I talked to her yesterday. Does your name start with an M? <laughs> I know you can't answer me, but I think I've totally figured out who you are. Oh my gosh. I want to text you, but I'm not done opening it. I want to wait till the big reveal. I don't want to ruin it for you guys if you're still making your guess. They are from Chicago. So drop your guesses down below if you haven't already. Thank you so much. I'm not quitting sugar forever. I'm just quitting sugar for this week and doing it in moderation from here on out. So these should last me like a month. I should get a lot of enjoyment out of these. I am so, so excited to try them. Thank you so much. I've never had these before. I'm a chocolate fiend. I absolutely love everything and anything to do with chocolate. Um, and I really appreciate you dropping that little clue for me. Hopefully I'm right or else this is gonna be real embarrassing, but I will see you guys tomorrow on the final day, day five. <laughs> you guys, it's finally Friday. I am so, so excited. I literally sprinted home from my workout don't judge the way I look <laughs> I'm sure you won't judge a teacher looking like this in May anyway but I am so so excited um, we're switching up our angles just a little bit because I am losing light so I kind of want to get her other stuff over here so you guys can see it I have to tell you guys something that literally breaks my heart this one got these oh is that smell good to you so I left my office door open last night and I realized it and I looked around and I didn't see that Tesla had gotten into anything. However, this morning when I woke up and I came out into my living room, there were wrappers all over everywhere because Tesla got these, hid them, and ate them except for this one. So this one is going to be incredible <laughs> once i get to eat it i'm really sad she ate the one that you said was your favorite flavor um the trinidad one i think is how you say it but oh man 
I'm definitely gonna have to see if I can get my hands on some other flavors now because I'm guessing those are going to be absolutely delicious. All right, I know you're ready for the big reveal. This is day five. Okay. Oh, it feels, ooh, there's some wood peeking through. This feels like a, like a little stand. Wait, oh, this is the one that smells good, guys. I'm so, so excited, okay. because you are too much. Okay, I don't know if there, was there a paper with this one? Maybe it goes with this one. I don't know, but uh, this is a, oh my gosh, the cutest little planter. Let me see if I can get it to focus for you guys so you can see. Oh my gosh, this is precious and I was smelling it and I was thinking it would have been like a candle. Like maybe this would have been the base, like a cute, I don't know, modern candle. But she put a lush bath bomb in here. Are you kidding? Oh, look, I am so happy. Thank you so much. Lush bath bombs are like the best. And you know what? I have had one of the worst days teaching today. Like this Friday was not a fun Friday. So I am really, really looking forward to using this ASAP. Like this needs to happen. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is the best. All right. This is, I really wonder if there was supposed to be a note with there. That one. I don't, I don't know, but. This is the bonus open at the way end. Does this count as the way end? I think so, I'm so excited. Oh, I wonder what it is, I have no idea. <laughs> All this beautiful string. How did she find string with like gold woven through it? Like who, here we go. Wait, should I show you first? There. Oh, you are so sweet. Tesla, come here. There. Puppy treats! Do you want a treat? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, we'll show some of your tricks. Excuse my messy house. Um, and I'm wearing leggings, because like I said, I worked out already. Oh, there's Chicago treats! Oh, hey! All right, you ready? Can you sit? Jump. Oh, spin. Down. Up. Dance. Yeah, you're excited, dance. Yeah, you're so excited, there you go. You don't deserve this because you ate the chocolate. She got you a snack and you ate mine. <laughs> oh, she's so excited, she's following me. Oh, we're crooked. So this is the Bark brand Snacks That Give Back Chicago. Um, let's see what it says. At Bark, we believe that every dog deserves to be happy and nothing makes a dog happier than going home for the first time. That's why every bag of Snacks That Give Back supports local dog rescues across the country with funds, product, and time, depending on what each nonprofit needs most. Wow. This is awesome, and she actually needed, you needed some new treats, huh? So you can stop eating my treats, huh? Yeah, she's being so good now, thanks. Every time I film, I'm just gonna set this bag out on my table. Bye. All right, here is the envelope. I feel like this is me, like, trying to see if I got, like, the golden ticket, you know? All right. Should I guess before I open it? I wanna tell you guys who I think it is, but I really don't wanna be wrong. Um, oh well, I think, I think it's Mora from Kind Kindergarten because of the Chicago thing. And she is honestly so sweet that she'd probably do this. Tesla's still trying to get the treats. Go away, go. Okay, she's sitting, That's, that works. I feel like there's something in here. Okay, I'm really ready. Oh, wait, that was such a good idea. Oh my, oh my gosh. Why did she do this? Ah, it says, okay, first of all, wait, what? I'm confused. There's two gift cards in here. What, I'm confused, why are there two? What is this? Interesting, okay, I, what, thank you. They're super cute too, but why? Why are there two? I just want you to see. This is the picture that she put in here because we actually got to meet in person in Miami. 
Oh, that was such a good idea to put that picture for it. Oh, I love you. Okay, it says, Maylene, I had a blast buying for you. I think you are easy to shop for. For your final gift, I got you a pot because I know you love plants, a lush bath bomb because I saw that you liked them in your last favorite video, and two Starbucks gift cards. You are so much, Mora. Thank you. One is for you and one is for you to pay it forward. Oh my gosh, I love that. I love doing that. Please make sure to record this. I can't believe we got to meet in real life. Miami still feels like a dream to me. You are amazing both on and off camera. Keeping you and never change more a kind kindergarten. <sighs> you guys, oh my gosh, I had a feeling it was her. I don't know why, I just had that feeling. Maura, you are absolutely incredible. I am so glad that you got that idea to send one to pay it forward because I love doing that. You are so kind and so special. Thank you so much. I feel like I don't even know how to thank you. I feel so appreciated. This means so much to me and I'm so glad that I actually know you in person and can call you a friend and say that I've hugged you, say that we've hung out together. Thank you so much, Mora. I mean, you guys, if you don't already know who Mora is, I don't know what you're doing. She was someone I watched on YouTube before I even thought about turning on the camera and having a channel myself. She's awesome. She teaches kindergarten, obviously, because her name is kind kindergarten she teaches in Chicago obviously and she is just an absolute absolute gem she's awesome make sure you check her out on YouTube and on Instagram I just cannot believe the way that she spoiled me I like I said I, I just have no words thank you so much Mora I will link everybody who is participating in this teacher appreciation collab down in the description box below make sure you check out every single person's channel it's gonna be really fun for you guys to try to figure out who got who because none of us really know I said in our little group chat no spoilers because I don't want it to be ruined so um, did you guess right did you think it was Mora did you think it was someone else do you have any idea who I got I want you guys to go ahead and watch all the videos down below see if you can figure it out make sure you subscribe to this channel make sure you subscribe to Mora and all the awesome other teachers in this collaboration if you want to see some other collaborations I've done with teachers click right up here I have a whole playlist full of them thank you so much again to Mora and happy teacher appreciation week to all of you fantastic teachers out there I hope you have an awesome rest of your year. <laughs>